Here on our Thursday, a couple things that we're tracking and things that you need to know as you're out the door. Rain chances, they're a little bit higher today, around 50%, mostly in the afternoon, but we could see some morning showers, especially along the coast here, so I keep them around 40 to 50%. They start to go down around 5, 6, and 7 o'clock, so if you have evening plans, you might get lucky as the showers and storms begin to fade. Another issue will be the heat today. 93 in Mobile. You see 95s in Calvert and Chatham, 93 in Leakesville. You have higher humidity in place as well. Therefore, you will see some heat index values that are higher than this. It is going to be a bit of a hotter day. Be ready for it. Take a look at our future cast here. You see through a good chunk in the morning, only some coastal showers here. 7 o'clock right on the coast. Some heavier downpours with light lightning involved with that as well. By 10 o'clock, more showers along I-10 are possible. They will be very scattered. Not everybody getting wet. That continues through noon. Before the afternoon, we see our highest coverage that spreads more inland here. 3 o'clock, even all the way up to Highway 84. We could see some thunderstorms around. Then you see this forecast model, and this is not the only one, decides to fade a lot of the coverage of the showers and storms later in the day. So you see 845 in our area. There is not as much around, but you do see some cloud cover still left over. This is beneficial rain departure from normal for the month around four inches. We're starting to get lower for the year. We're in a abnormally dry period here. At least it has been, but good news is rain chances stay high for Thursday, Friday, start to go down for Sunday and then our Labor Day. Monday and then they go right back up. Go to Wednesday, therefore, a 60% chance of rain. Here's the deal. We have an upper level low that's over the Gulf of Mexico, kind of here, and has a lot of moisture associated with it. We're in a relatively weak pattern aloft, but this area of moisture does migrate closer to us for Friday. Therefore, we had that 60% chance of rain in place. You can see it here on our future cast. Uh, this is why it's the GFS forecast model. It's just constant all the way through Saturday. You see these blobs of green with the GFS forecast model. But notice Saturday and into Sunday, the green starts to go away. You don't see as much over our area. Therefore, we have lowered the rain chances then. All right, take a look at the forecast for football across the area. This is Thursday game. So BC Rain Foley, Alberta Robertsdale, Washington County, Millery. All of these games very similar forecast temperatures in the 80s mostly cloudy skies around winds will be light then let's go to friday our big friday kickoff game this week is gulf shores and mary g montgomery we will be out there 83 degrees getting to 80 degrees by the end of the game let's go to saturday now chance of showers and thunderstorms for south alabama taking on north texas but conditions shouldn't be that bad here's a look at the next five days scattered showers and thunderstorms will be possible with the lower strain chances on Sunday and Monday and then ahead to the seven day outlook where rain chances do go up once again. That'll be Tuesday and especially Wednesday of next week.